Dr. J. Calvin Tibbs with you, welcoming you to Word for the Day. I hope you're having a great day. The reason that we're doing this is because you are busy. <laughs> you what? When it comes to the word of the Lord and getting what he wants, we really can't be too busy for it. But in order to move you along a little bit, now, if you have a real developed walk with God, this may not be for you. You're going to pick up some things, of course. But I'm talking to the busy person who just, you know, you love the Lord, but getting a devotional in is kind of tough. So I'm going to help you get that done in under five minutes. If I can get this thing down to about three, that's where it's going to be. Not uh, effectiveness requirement. And here it is. Every day, one through 365, there are people born which means God is sending people into the earth on a specific day we call a birthday. Well, the day of the Lord, which is what he made, this is the day. In it, Every day is a day that he's made with specific instructions to include what are the numbers in that day or in that particular month. So today, given that it's January 1st, that's 0101, Every word inside of the Bible is found inside of what's called a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, which means that number 101, which is January 1st, is also in there. I got good news for what that word means. And there it is. Strong's 101 in the Hebrew is the word bowl or basin. Everybody uses bowls to eat cereal unless you just eat them with your hands. But generally speaking, when I get ready to pray as a part of our devotion, I'm going to use this word. The Hebrew word gives way in the Old Testament to the Greek word in the New Testament. And that is Strong's number 101 or 0101 to be unable. Well, how in the world do you pray like that? Well, you're going to see in just a second because we're going to join forces as your devotional to the Lord. So I'm going to ask God to bless you using a prayer of today and the bowl or the basin, and then the second word to be unable. So Father, I lift up my friend to you, my brother, my sister. I ask that you would give them wisdom in today's bowl. I thank you that indeed they are unable to do divine things without divine help. So give them wisdom to partner with you to allow what you've put in the bowl to be what they use today so that they become able to fulfill all righteousness in this day, in this hour, in this moment, in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Ghost is all over it because he's here. He's here with you when we pray. The Bible says that two or three gather together in his name. He's right in the midst. What is next? There's a prayer. Now we will declare. I'm going to use these same two references, the bowl and to be unable and I'm going to make a declaration on your behalf. So I declare over your life right now that you wash your face in the bowl of God's grace. Face is filled with the grace of God. I also speak over you that what you are unable to do in your own strength, you start partnering with God in his strength to fulfill all righteousness. Boom. There's your prayer. There's your declaration and then our devotional, which is in written form. And you can pick this up uh, soon on Amazon. But right now we're doing seven days per, if you will, offering. So we'll talk about this again on tomorrow, whatever day two is, January 2nd. We're going to do the day after because we really encourage you to do the day before, but you're busy. <laughs> so we're going to help you so that you can get in sync with what God is doing. And if you're 24 hours late, it's better than being 365 days late. So check this out. The word of the day comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. And it says, and God is able to make all grace abound to you so that having all sufficiency and all things at all times, come on, you covered, right? It work. And there it is, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. So this is what we're going to do. It's called the word for the day. It's in the scripture. It's literally written out 0101, 0102. So every day has a clue as to what God is doing. He's using a bowl 
and a basin. And he's helping us to know that we are incapable of getting things done without his help. I hope this helped you. We look forward to seeing you again the next time we get together on Word for the Day. I bless you in the name of Jesus.